guys welcome back so um, I did a rainbow pour or a neon pour uh, before this one and I really like the colors and I was thinking about doing a Christmas ornament I sanded it down a little bit it's just a plastic one and I wanted to do it from the from the top um, dripping down I've seen a lot of people doing from the the bottom up just putting them on some pegs and um, dripping it this way but I want to drip it from the top and I want to do a little ring pour with the neon colors um, they're pretty thick so I think um, I'm gonna be fine moving it while it's still dripping so let's just pour some colors in the cup and I'm hoping you can see in this angle. The problem is my light keeps changing because, you know, clouds and stuff. So I'm just, I want to do a ring pour. So I'm gonna layer the colors. The only thing is uh, I want to uh, leave out the green. I like it, but I get it, it, it gets a little bit muddy um, so I'm just going to use uh, my other colors and I might even put in maybe I'll put some, some gold in there I think I've cut a lot of paint here. I'm gonna finish it off with some white just to um, get something a little bit more uh, fluent to flow over uh, the, the material. Welcome back to my channel and let's get some Christmas decorations going. Hmm, let's see what's the best way to do this. Maybe I make this a little bit too tall. Okay, so let's go and pour. I'm just going to go over the top of it. in a lot of white. Where are my colors? I don't know what happened, but it seems like something has reacted with my paint and I got a little bit different outcome than I was expecting. <laughs> Got the cup. Okay. So now 
now comes the big trick. Here's how my neon Christmas ornament is looking. It's still dripping. I prefer the top, but I'm curious how it will dry. Keep you posted. <laughs> 